Well, hi everyone, Ken Ham, CEO of Answers in Genesis Creation Museum in the Ark Encounter, and we're here in the lab at the Creation Museum. This is our new lab, and I have a dangerous looking person over here on my right, Roger Patterson. Yes. Man, if you got if you got those safety glasses on, maybe what are these? Should I put this on? Um, you might need to put this on later. We're going to be working with some flammable materials, and let we'll, me see. We'll let me see, see, see what we'll, it looks we'll like. Just, we'll how, just strap it around. How, how do you open? Uh, just, just, I fit oh, look at that! Now I can't. Okay. Oh, that's what do you think? That's, you're safe now. Now I'm safe. You're I'm safe. safe. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's take this off. Okay. Now uh, it's oh, too. Totally, yeah, it's losing all my glasses. <laughs> oh, now I can't see. Well, where am I? Okay. That's all our fun stuff as we get people online here, and. I have here Jennifer Rivera, who's our education specialist, yes. actually. And you're in charge of these workshops, high school labs at the Creation Museum. This is our new lab right here. Yes. So tell us a little bit about them, and then I think we're going to blow something up. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, our high school labs are going to be offering four next year, biology, chemistry, forensics, and physics. And right now for the month of June, we have a very special discount, 15% off just for the month of June on any high school science course. And so what students do is they uh, get to come here for 12 different sessions during the school year, and they're going to uh, get a total of 24 hands-on labs because they get two two-hour workshops every time they come. Uh, resulting in 24 labs in just 12 days. Uh, and they can pick one of those four topics online on our website. That sounds exciting. I think I'll jump in. It's, I, it's awesome. I miss my days as teaching when I was in a lab like this. I know. This. It's a lot of fun. And what's even better is our, we're also going to give our parents uh, a one-day ticket to the Creation Museum. So when they bring their uh, student to the uh, high school lab, they can stay at the museum all day. Oh, oh, that, but that's only for the month of June. Only for the month of June. Only okay. for the month of June. So they get information on the Creation Museum website. Yes. Now, when people come to the Creation Museum here, we have workshops during the day that are included with their ticket, but these are mm -hmm. very specialized, intensive yes. workshops, mm -hmm. uh, the, the labs, and we have some others too called the Explore Workshops and yes. so on. But today we're talking about the high school labs. This is a great opportunity. Where else can you go to be in a museum mm -hmm. where you can do lab work and all from a biblical worldview creationist perspective, correct? Exactly, and with experts in the field as well who've been teaching for a number of years and thoroughly understand and know their topic well. So is Roger an expert? He is. He is? What's he, he is an expert He's a chemistry in? expert. Chemistry expert. Okay, so Roger's a chemistry expert. You've got a, a lab coat on. Lab coat. If you're going to blow up something. My okay, I want, can you get me my lab sure. coat over there? This uh, is my. This this, this isn't is really lab a lab coat, coat Ken. Uh, that, it's that's it's not... my lab coat. Okay. Okay. This is a gray lab coat. Look at this. So you like my lab coat? What do you think, Roger? Well, see. Yeah. Seeing as you had a coat on, I thought I should put a coat on. Okay. There we are. What do you think? Not bad. Yeah. Okay. Now I look like a scientist. Do I look like a scientist? Um. Not quite. Okay. But... <laughs> All right. Okay. So Roger, what are you what are you going to show us? Because you're one of the ones that's leading. The workshops yes. here, the I'll high school labs. I'll be teaching the, the chemistry lab that will okay. run uh, September through April. So the students come and they're going to get experience in the lab. So for parents who don't have a facility to be able to do um, these complex experiments or have the, the chemicals that they need to do some of these things, we'll provide all of that for you. Uh, this is especially great for homeschool families or people who are in public school who want to supplement things from a biblical perspective. Um, even Christian schools who don't have the lab opportunities to, to do that. So uh, we'll be here in this lab. I'll be teaching the chemistry section, and uh, we're basically using the Bob Jones uh, chemistry manual that we're going to be working through as our primary text, and we'll align that to the, the main teaching text for the parents as well, and plus some supplemental stuff. But I have always said, I think when we look at the periodic table, which you can see up on the screen uh, over here, um, when, I, when I look at this, I see a thing of beauty because it displays what God did in designing this world and creating order and knowing how that periodic table works and all the pieces fit together, I can predict the future. 
You can predict the future? I know what is going to happen in these chemical reactions because God has created an orderly system for us to study. So we have the laws of nature, like the laws of chemistry and yeah. the laws of mathematics and yes. the laws of physics. And they come from God, the lawgiver. And How could they ever come about by chance random processes? That's one of the greatest mysteries of the atheistic or naturalistic worldview. And uh, we've got an answer, and they don't. And besides which, if these laws evolved, they wouldn't be laws, they'd still be evolving. And so what you might do now might be different to what happened when you did the same thing yesterday. Yeah, there's no way we could be confident that the future would act the way it does without God as a lawgiver. And we want to be able to teach students those sorts of things. Yeah. So, so um, the first thing I need you to okay. do, Ken, can you help me out by pouring that small beaker so, into that? Do, do I need no. to put on these glasses? Um, your your my, glasses. My glasses is okay? Yeah, if okay. you want it, this will so, fit over yours. Look at that. Right, so yeah. Okay. No, I, I'm wearing glasses, I'm so put them on. you're going to put glasses uh, I am, on. I am. Okay. So what do you want me Safety to do? First. Small beaker there. Small I'm beaker. Pour that into that cup. Into this cup. Yep. And we're just going to let that sit for a few minutes. Did and I pour that just, well? Yep. That was great. Oh, okay. Ken. Yeah. Can oh Ken. Oh wait do? a minute. Hey, my cup is disappearing. <sighs> what happened here? Ken. Look at that. Oh my goodness! You are a terrible. You chemist. told me to pour it in there. But, but Ken, that was you my, should, that was you my should know cup. better than pouring Look, it's, acetone. It's getting, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Look at that. Come on, Ken. You down. never pour acetone into a styrofoam cup. We know that's going to make a meltdown and have a big mess. I thought acetone preserved oh, things. Man. That's, that's just terrible. Okay. Never do that again. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. It's, it's disappearing. The cup's it getting is. smaller. It's magic. Well, no, it's actually predictable chemical reactions. It's not magic. It's not magic, okay. but it's fun anyway. So, All right. Okay. So what do, what do you spot. think, Jennifer? Do you think it's magic? No. No, I, I think it's a predictable laws of nature. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I expect from you too. All right. All right. So, <laughs> okay. what else we? Got we'll to? come back to that in a minute. Okay. Um, we've got here in a, a beaker a little solution of soapy water, just some some dish soap and some to wash water. my hands in. No, okay. you, you might need to do that later, and we're going to add to it this chemical compound here called calcium carbide. This is a natural mineral, mineral that can be mined out of the ground and um, it looks like a little gray rock. It's nothing fancy, just a little gray pebble. I think I remember doing this. Is this the one you can do, you mix it together and then you can light it and it goes boom and leaves a purple stain? Let's find out. You take this. Okay. You know how to run one of those? Nope, you got to push this oh. button first. Oh, okay. Nope, forward. And then click that. Oh. Okay. See, my wife right. always lights a candle, not me. <laughs> I'm going to drop this in this beaker, yeah. and then we're going to look for a nice bubble to form. And when yeah. you see a good big bubble, I want you to bring in the lighter underneath of the bubble. Mm -hmm. Really? So what's happening here? Tell me when. As this, get it. Go ahead and light it. Bring it in. Wait till no. Wait till we get a good big bubble there. Oh, okay. As this um, gas is being evolved. All right. Go ahead we get acetylene gas produced and we can see the chemical reaction and predict what's going to happen there. Those little bubbles... I predict when I do this, we'll get a little explosion. And every time we do that, we're going to get that same little explosion. I would like to predict that if I bring this flame here, it'll blow up. There you go. That's pretty good. And That's the laws of chemistry. It is. And we have up here on the screen... I just proved the laws of chemistry. <laughs> the, the chemical formula. Um, Calcium carbide mixes with water. We get this predictable reaction. Makes acetylene, that C2H2 molecule, and calcium hydroxide in the liquid. The bubbles are just for fun to kind of give it, to trap the gas a little so bit. So does that mean now I've passed my chemistry course and I can get a degree in chemistry? Not yet. Let's do, okay. let's do one more thing. We're going to do the same okay. thing but in some plain water. And we're going to trap these, these gases. Get a nice big chunk here. It didn't go purple. Gases. I thought it would go purple. No, I don't. I don't know what you're remembering, but it's not this one. Okay. And we're going to. I'm obviously not remembering very well. <laughs> we're going to demonstrate. A <laughs> that was a long time ago. Another combustion okay. reaction, but we're going to control the amount of oxygen. I've placed this over the tip of the test tube. We're going to fill this one all the way up with okay. the acetylene. Yeah. And set it here. I got to be able I to can't, I can't see the acetylene anymore. Oh, it's it's the carbide is in there. We're going to trap that. Oh, I might have to grab one more rock. That okay. was going fast. That was really bad. <laughs> you failed. I did not fail. It just went quicker than we needed okay. to. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to grab this. We're going to fill this one. Okay. So you're filling about that About half full of acetylene gas. Okay. Set it aside. And these right. few, 
we're going to put just a bit of acetylene in. This one will have a little bit more. So what I'm doing here is I'm varying the amount of oxygen. And as you probably know, from your days as a science teacher, you need oxygen to make things burn and go boom. I need oxygen to live. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> See, I know my chemistry. Oh, is that biology? That's both. Oh, okay. All right. That's the great thing about chemistry is you can't do biology or physics or a lot of other things without chemistry. Without chemistry. That's true. Yeah, so I call it the mother of all sciences. But yeah. You couldn't I even, imagine Danny you, you and couldn't even speak with that chemistry. Do you realize you oh, couldn't speak with that chemistry? Absolutely. And that's why when you suck on a helium balloon, uh, your voice changes I, I because don't. the molecules are moving faster. I don't suck on helium balloons that much, actually. All right. So what so, we're going to do okay. here, we're going to demonstrate. Do I need this anymore? Yep. You're going oh, okay. to light each of these test tubes. Oh, okay. So if this doesn't have very much oxygen in it, right. what would you predict about how quickly it will burn? Very slowly. Okay. Let's see if you're true. And it just burns right at the mouth because there's no oxygen inside the tube. Mm, mm. Right? And it leaves this black sooty ring right around the mouth. If I pour that gas out, it'll burn out and eventually ex extinguish. But it's very dirty, so we'd call that a dirty burn. So that's an incomplete combustion. A dirty burn. This one has a well, little a, bit more that's oxygen. A, that's a technical term. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That one oh. burned into the tube it did. because All there right. was oxygen inside the tube. That's a dirty, dirty burn. And that made a dirty burn, and we're getting a lot of these little sooty but fibers. But there's more dirty burn there than here. So that's, yeah, because be it, was, it was released up into the air, and you just couldn't Wouldn't see Wouldn't you call it. that a dirty, dirty burn? Yes. No? Okay. Okay, so this one had a little more oxygen. Mm -hmm. Oh, <gasps> it made a sound. And how much black is in the tube? Not much. Not much, because mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a more complete combustion. Let's try that one again. Get your lighter up. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. So if we have okay. the right... <laughs> I'm glad I have my lab coat on. <laughs> if we have the right amount of oxygen mixed with yeah. the fuel, we get a clean burn. Okay. And it happens very rapidly. So that's what we'd want in I, applications like, a, like I, an engine. I wasn't expecting that. I know. That's why I did it. <laughs> Let's try one more. There See, I was ready for that nice one. Didn't jump that time. <laughs> so all of these things we can do, and we can okay. predict how they work, because God is the one who's designed them all. We can know that he's, that he's created these things to function in an orderly manner. And um, we're going to teach all these things to the kids and help them understand how molecules act and how things interact with one another and why you should never pour acetone into... A styrofoam, styrofoam cup. cup, because it will just yeah. dissolve away to nothing. Yeah, so you couldn't drink acetone. Yeah, so when I teach chemistry, I want to make sure it's engaging and factual and honoring to God, but it's also to have some fun and, and teach kids how to blow stuff up, but do it safely and under supervision, and I'm the one who's going to be able to do that and help them enjoy those things. You know, I think I'd even enjoy being in your class. I... Would you enjoy me being in your class? <laughs> I, uh, okay, all right. Uh, Jennifer, tell us, tell us the details now about these chemistry labs and other labs that you have, the high school labs. Yeah, so you can get all the information on our website. And so once again, we have this special 15% off for the month of June. And you can go online and you can pick whether you like biology, chemistry, physics, or forensics. Our capacity is only 30 students, and we have students registered in all our courses already. So I highly recommend that you do that soon. And that also includes the parent pass to the museum for the day, as well as free parking at the museum. So they go to the creationmuseum.org website. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and look up the high school science labs. High school science labs. click on the high school labs, and that will take you to the website, and the registration links for each course are available there. That is uh, incredible. I know, you know, for other workshops, you do the specialist workshops. I mean, there's daily workshops here mm -hmm. that people get when they come to the Creation Museum. I know there's some people in there doing workshops right now, actually. Yes, there is. Uh, but these are special workshops that, because we use materials and other things, there's, mm -hmm. there's a charge for those because they're, they're really... It's, it's like uh, going to school, it's, isn't it? It's receiving a full high, high school lab practicum right here in a right. science lab. And that's it's an amazing opportunity. It is a, a it's an amazing opportunity for homeschoolers mm -hmm. who can't do these sort of things at home. I mean, if I tried that at home, I might <laughs> blow our home up. So no, I would. We I, don't recommend I, this. I, 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 I'd want to do it in here. 
Uh, and again, not all Christian schools have access to labs or the specialists that we have here exactly uh, as mm -hmm. well. And so, Roger said he actually had a goal to blow up something at every single class. Is I'm that gonna, still your goal? I'm gonna try to He's going to try and do that. Try try and do that. That's pretty awesome. Engaging. Every mm -hmm. single chemistry class. Yeah. Okay. No so, student would want to miss that. Um, I tell you what. Just before we finish here, let me open up my uh, iPhone and go to my Facebook. And I'm going to see if anyone's got any questions for you. If you've got any questions to ask Jennifer or to ask Roger, uh, you can do that right now. And let me see. Oh, yeah, we've got a uh, number of people watching. And I'll just turn the volume down here. So somebody said, I wish I had a chemistry teacher like you. <laughs> Are they talking about me or you? Probably you. With right. that accent and all, it yeah, would have yeah. been much better. I, I think they're really talking about right. you, Roger. So what a great homeschool curriculum. <laughs> Uh, what is a great homeschool curriculum or book that would be great for practical things around the home? Food cleaners for those who are chemistry challenged and didn't like the dry chemistry at public school. First of all, you need to come to the Creation Museum, yes. come to Roger's class, and you will no longer be chemistry challenged. Exactly. But uh, mm -hmm. So the, the Bob Jones uh, books are good for people yes, even at home? Yes, they're very good, yes, mm -hmm. and they've allowed us to use their lab book, and it's, uh, they're a wonderful tool to, you know, kind of organize the, the school year, and we always recommend that the parents can use the same textbook at home. So when the children go home, they can study out of the Bob Jones Chemistry textbook, and it coincides with the lab book. Yeah, BJU Press produced some great uh, Christian yes. school textbooks, mm -hmm. and we use those at our Christian school, 12 Stones, yes. mm -hmm. uh, Christian Academy, and uh, so they get the opportunity of coming here too and uh, being able to mm -hmm. share in these sorts of things. So uh, let me have a look here. Someone else said, excellent. Uh, <laughs> excellent. excellent. Oh, okay, they appraised you as excellent. I wish I uh, wish they had time to go back so my kids could attend the workshops. Um, yeah, somebody's watching from Israel. Oh, uh, how about that? Yeah. But uh, again, give the information about the workshops and where to get mm -hmm. the information. You can go right on our website to creationmuseum.org. You'll see a little uh, icon there under things to do for high school labs. Uh, that will take you to the website where there is detailed information for every single one of the four courses as well as a registration link uh, to register your student today. Uh, just pay special attention to the ages. Each class, you know, because of technicality, uh, is restricted to certain age groups uh, for students in high school. So these are actual labs in a real lab that we yes. have built here at the Creation Museum. It's part of our educational program. From a biblical uh, worldview, which makes it here. very unique. It's so. all from a biblical worldview. You won't get that uh, anywhere else nope. uh, mm -hmm. as you will get here with the specialists we have here, mm -hmm. creationist Christian worldview uh, at mm -hmm. the Creation Museum. What a unique opportunity uh, for people. Well, Roger, Absolutely. thanks for, for blowing things up. And Thank nearly, you for being Nearly that. blowing me up. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Thank you for having fun there. I'm, uh, remember, never do that to your styrofoam cups. It's, it's disappeared. It's pretty much gone. It's, it's basically yeah. gone. And then our combustion dirt, dirty combustion reactions here and our cleaner yes. ones and the little boom. You all know. fun stuff. Yeah, all fun stuff. Okay, hope you enjoyed uh, being with us today. Yeah. Hey, great opportunity to get your students into high mm -hmm. school labs from a Christian creation worldview with experts who know what they're doing, but they'll get the right worldview. What an opportunity uh, you have. So mm -hmm. thanks, Jennifer. Yep. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. Next time I see you, uh, try not to blow something up, will you? All right. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>